hey guys, this is an indoor golf simulator. It gives you all kinds of information like ball speed, launch conditions, and much more. It's recognized as an industry leader. However, it comes the price tag of $50,000. And this is the Voice Caddy SC300i. It also gives you launch conditions like ball speed, club head speed, apex, and much more. But this comes in at $499. So in today's video, I'm gonna test to see if this launch monitor that comes in at a fraction of the price is as accurate as this $50,000 unit. So the SC300i gives you all kinds of information, such as carry distance, swing speed, ball speed, smash factor, which is really a calculation of swing speed and ball speed, launch angle, and apex. So all this information is displayed on the unit itself, but you also can pair this up with your iPhone or your Android device, and you can see all the data there as well. And it even comes with this little remote. Now we use the remote to actually choose the club you're gonna be using without having to bend over and push the button all the time, and the loft of the club. And this is what is really important because this is what gives you accurate data. Now set this up for indoor use, you're gonna to need to have the ball six and a half feet away from the net or the screen and the unit would be another five feet from behind the ball. So for a total of 11 half feet from the net to where the unit is itself. But for outdoor use, all you have to do is put it five feet behind the ball. So the way it works is through radar, and the radar is right here. Now, it also, after you hit the shot, the unit will verbally tell you how far you hit it. So what I'm gonna do is a practice session. I'm gonna hit three different clubs. I'm gonna hit my pitching wedge, my seven iron, and my driver. And we're gonna see how the swing caddy works at $499. On this first shot, my pitching wedge, the sim showed 114.3 yards, while the SC300i showed 118.4 yards, so a difference of about four yards, so that's pretty darn close. On the second shot, the sim showed 105 yards, while the SC300i showed 107.2 yards, for a difference of about two to two and a half yards, and that's pretty close. On this last shot, the sim showed 96.8 yards, while the SC300i showed 100.1 yards, so that's about 3.3 yards difference, um, and definitely within tolerance, if you ask me for indoors using the pitching wedge, so I'm really impressed with this. So on this first shot by seven iron, the sim was showing 161.5 yards, while the SC300 showed 159 yards, so it's only off by about two and a half yards, and that's pretty impressive if you ask me. The second shot with my seven iron, the SC300 was showing 145 yards, while the sim showed 144.1, so that's only off by 0.9 yards, so nine tenths of a yard, and that is pretty darn close. This last shot with my seven iron, I hit it 156.9 yards on the sim, while the SC300 showed 154.4 yards. So that's about two and a half yards off from one another. And so all in all, I think the seven iron is pretty close when it comes to what the SC300 shows and what the simulator shows. On this first shot with my driver, the simulator showed 221.9 yards, while the SC300i showed 228.3 yards. Now that's about six and a half, seven yards difference. On the second shot, the sim showed 23.8 yards, while the SC300i showed 228.4. Now that's about four and a half yard difference, um, less than five yards, so I'm pretty happy with that. On this third shot from the driver, the sim showed 224.8 yards, while the SC300i showed 220.3 yards, so that's about, again, about four and a half yards off from one another, uh, similar to the prior shot. So less than five yards, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. In this last shot with the driver, uh, the SC300i showed 222.7 yards, while the sim showed 223.3 yards. So that's the closest one we've had yet, about a yard and a half. So all in all, I'm really impressed with the SC300i can do with the driver, especially with the higher swing speeds. To be honest, I was blown away by the accuracy of the SC300. I was not expecting that on average. The SC300 is showing about five yards off of what this $50,000 simulator is showing. So this is a huge win in my book for the SC300. I'm really impressed with this unit, and I would recommend it to any of you guys out there looking for an affordable launch monitor that's pretty accurate, especially indoors. And again, if you guys want to pick one of these up, be sure to check out the links below to our friends at playbetter.com to give us a special deal on it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.